Every spring for more than 30 years, these scenes have been repeated at Cambridge Stud. It's a shaky beginning for what can often lead to a racing career of unlimited potential. Because these foals have been born at the most successful privately owned thoroughbred breeding operation in New Zealand and Australia. Hogan's Irish-born father, Tom, was a big influence on his decision to pursue a career in thoroughbreds. The family had mixed dairying with a breeding operation at Fencourt Stud in Waikato. In his 20s, Hogan realised that he needed to hone his skills, set goals and develop better marketing plans if he was to stay in the game. Hogan and his wife Justine put their hopes and hard work into Cambridge Stud. The big break came in 1975 with the purchase of Sir Tristram. Hogan wanted a horse with a good pedigree and a touch of speed, and that's what he received in the son of English Derby and 2000 Guineas winner, Sir Ivor. After failing to impress some syndicate members on arrival, Sir Tristram produced 37 foals in the first season, and then they started winning, and went on winning, helping make Hogan a leader in world breeding over the following decades. By the time Empire Rose won the Melbourne Cup, Sir Tristram's stud fees had risen from $1,500 to $200,000. Hogan had even been offered $32 million for the stallion. Paddy wasn't for sale. Hogan's breeding and management skills saw Sir Tristram finish his career with an incredible record. Among the achievements, he was the second leading sire in the world of Group 1 winners with 45. He was champion Australian sire six times, and he won nine Dewar Awards for combined New Zealand and Australian progeny earnings. It's in the marketing of thoroughbreds that Hogan has no peer. He rewrote the Australasian book on how to promote and present yearlings at the national sales, firstly at Trentham and then later at Caracas. The Hogan approach was to present more than just a horse. Cambridge Stud was offering buyers the potential of racing glory. An important part of the strategy was to attract buyers to New Zealand. He pioneered the hospitality that is a feature of the sales today. It was a proud day when Hogan led New Zealand's first million dollar sale through the ring in 1989. Just after the turn of the century, he pushed the benchmark even further. 3.6 that way, at 3,600,000, done, all done. Hogan's judgment as a breeder enabled him to replace one super sire with another, Zabiel, a son of Sir Tristram. By the 2005-2006 season, he'd won nine Dewar Awards and been champion Australian sire twice and champion New Zealand sire three times. His first three crops included Octagonal, Jezebel, Might and Power and Champagne. The 1998 Melbourne Cup was a Zabiel showpiece. Champagne and Jezebel. Jezebel's fighting back on the rails and won the cup. Jezebel that sort of success has won Hogan a string of awards. In 1991, he was given the award for Outstanding Contribution to Racing Excellence. Together with his wife Justine, they were named as Breeders of the Year from 1994 to 1997 and again in the 2003 to 2004 season. The international reputation of Cambridge Stud has attracted the attention of royalty and many other admirers over the years. That success was built on hard work and a partnership with a great stallion whose dynasty will continue to provide winners for years to come. It's also earned Hogan recognition across the Tasman, where he was inducted into the Australian Racing Hall of Fame in 2005.